One of the traditions that I like best about Christmas is Christmas cards. Now I know a lot of people knock themselves out to go get the perfect Christmas card. And you know the ones that you get the day after Thanksgiving and they're all lined up in color coordinated suits and you know that they did it way back in June and everybody has the perfect smile, the perfect hair, perfect everything. Yes, they can get really annoying. You wonder if they're trying to show off, but yeah, there might be some of that. But at the same time, they're also letting you know they're thinking about you. So getting Christmas cards, even if you don't pose them or personalize them, if you just go to the store and get a box of ones that you think look really pretty, those quite often make somebody's holiday. When I was a little Santa. I remember going to visit old folks that, you know, the children were grown and gone and moved away and they didn't have a lot of money and they didn't get out much. But those Christmas cards were very important to them. They would be the ornaments on their tree. They would get one and they would tape it to the branches or have it around their house. It was a little sign that they weren't forgotten and they weren't alone. So go out and get a Christmas card. Even if it's just something you're gonna leave on a coworker's desk or pass out to your mail person or anything like that, just get a Christmas card, send it, find out the address and names of residents at a local nursing home or retirement community, a veterans hospital. Send them a card, let them know they're not forgotten sick and they're in prison, visit them. Sometimes the only way we can do it is with a Christmas card.